Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be doing part four of my video series on the restoration of this old tube phonograph. So in this video, I'm going to be replacing the selenium rectifier with the modern silicon diode. Now, and I know in a previous video, I said I wasn't going to replace it because it worked fine. Well, after doing some research on selenium rectifiers, I realized that even though they're working fine at the time being, they could fail at any time because they're so old and go open a toxic smoke, which I don't want. So I'm going to replace it right now with a silicon diode. So, the schematic for a selenium rectifier looks like this. It looks like multiple diode schematics all put together. That's what a selenium rectifier schematic looks like. But a diode schematic is just a normal silicon diode. So, the one thing that's different between silicon diodes and selenium rectifiers is that selenium rectifiers have a higher internal resistance than a diode. So they have a higher voltage drop, perhaps about 10 volts more than a diode. When we replace the selenium rectifier with a diode, we're going to have to add a resistor in series with it to drop the voltage so that way we don't burn out any tubes. Now I chose this resistor to add in series to the diode because it's 150 ohms and as you can see I had to um, make my own little resistor by adding a 200 ohm and an 800 ohm resistor in parallel to get one of my 150 ohm resistor. Now this is because the selenium rectifier or the circuit normally draws 65 milliamps and considering a 10, uh, 10 volt difference between uh, the this diode, the selenium rectifier, and the new diode, I'd have to add a 150 ohm resistor to get a voltage drop of 10 volts at 65 milliamps. So, um, this is the resistor I'll have to add. Now the diode I'm using is uh, 1N5408. Now this diode can handle 1000 volts at 3 amps, which is a little bit overkill for the project I'm using it in, but it's a good diode, so I'm using it. So to start replacing the selenium rectifier, I'm going to start by clipping this little wire that goes to the actual rectifier, and so therefore disconnecting the selenium rectifier from the rest of the circuit, and then I'll go on replacing the selenium rectifier with the diode and the resistor, making sure that the, that the cathode of the diode is facing this way, as to give the B plus voltage the right way. So, I'll make a time lapse of me changing it out. Okay, so after I have the selenium rectifier installed, I can turn on the record player and see if it works. And as you can hear, the new silicon diode re replacement of the selenium rectifier works great. Sounds just like it used to. And now we don't have to worry about the, um, the selenium rectifier blowing up on us while um, we're, I'm using the record player. So, thank you for watching and please subscribe. In the next video, I'll be um, cleaning out this case and replacing the grill on the front with some burlap. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.